What's up guys, just dropped off all my loads in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm going to be folding my tarp so I thought I'd make a little video of the way I fold it. I believe this is a 18 foot long tarp and it's got a 6 foot drop. So I take this piece, the little overhang part, I just tuck it in here in the middle. Then I take each end and I just flip it in towards the middle of the tarp. Then I flip it in once more before I head to the next side. Pretty much each, each side gets flipped in twice. Then I do the same thing with the other side. Bring it in towards the middle. And one more time. And when you first start, you want your D-rings to be facing upwards. And then just flip one side onto the other. So then you have your tarp all folded and then you just want to start rolling it. That's it. Just take a bungee cord and wrap it around. That's it. Guys, I went to a restaurant called Hash House A Go Go. I ordered a twisted flapjack, which is a pancake with brown sugar and bananas. I also got some eggs and turkey sausage. This restaurant is known for their enormous portions of food. Just look at this pancake. I put my iPhone up to it for comparison.
Guys, that pancake was huge and delicious. Stupid hot over here. It's like a hundred degrees. Good thing it's not humid. If it was humid and this hot, it'd be it'd be over. But it's still pretty pretty toasty over here. Desert heat. Good morning, guys. Today is my full day of my 34-hour reset. Um, it is currently 7:34 a.m. I just got out of the gym. I went for a workout. Got here about 5.45 a.m. It was uh, really hard to sleep, so I couldn't really sleep because it's uh, brutally hot in Vegas. So I woke up super early today and just hit the gym. And right now I'm on my way. I'm gonna go check out a popular donut place called Pink Box Donuts. This place is uh, all over Vegas and it's got really good reviews and really good big variety of donuts and everybody says it's good so I'm gonna go check it out here it is guys pink bugs donuts let's go see what they've got Right, guys I just found a park with some tables because going to these donut places they don't even have tables to sit and eat I don't know some do and some don't but majority of the ones with the fancy donuts they don't have it so I went pretty crazy they, they had like 70 plus different donuts to choose from it was pretty hard to choose so here's what I've got All right, guys, I had to get out of the park. Um, there was a bunch of pigeons over there and um, homeless people started coming over there. So not the best place for a video. So back in the truck, which is my really only spot to record videos, there's really no other spots to go and sit. So the donuts that I've got, there's a, this is a cronut. This is called El Guzman. It's got some kind of guava filling, I believe. Let's see what it tastes like. Man, cronuts are always good. messy next I got an original glazed donut always have to try the original glaze to see what the donut place is like very good these um, 
fancy coffee cups. The lid on mine is not behaving, it's leaking. I think I got a defective cup. <laughs> with my look. What are we gonna try next? Got a, usually donut places have apple fritters. I got a blueberry fritter. Let's give this a try. Oh man, this is amazing. Blueberry flavor. Perfect. It's not too sweet. Just perfect. Next we have a uh, Mama's Tres Leches, which is a cake donut with some whipped topping. Oh man, this is very good. Super moist and soft. Very good. Next, I'm gonna try a donut. I believe it's called Smashed Apple. This should have apple fillings and it's got apple crumbs on top. Uh, or some kind of breadcrumbs on top. Mm. If you like apple pie, this is a perfect donut for you. Very good. All right, guys. Next, I've got a gimme s'mores. It's a s'mores donut. Got chocolate glazing. Just honestly, it tastes like a regular chocolate glazed donut. Oh, okay. Made it to the filling. Now we're talking. Pretty good. The good thing is these donuts, they're not too sweet like some donuts are. These are just right. Next, we've got a cookies and cream. perfect cookies and cream filling inside. Very delicious. Next we have a, I think it's called Porky's. It's a maple glazed bar, donut bar, with bacon on top. These have to be one of my favorites. The maple glazing with bacon is just perfect. Next, guys, you've got the blue face cronut. It's a blueberry blueberry topping on, on top of it. Very good. I'm surprised that it's not super sweet. You would think something like this would be super sweet, but it's just it's just perfect. Now I see what the hype is all about about this donut place. It's very good donuts. 
All right, guys, I'm gonna enjoy these donuts a little bit, and I'll see you shortly. All right, guys, I just got out of Walmart, getting all my food ready for the coming week of work. So I'm gonna show you how I do my meal prepping for the road. So I got this scale. I use this when I add the extra chicken to my meals that I buy to get the extra protein. So, buy a couple of different meals. This one right here, healthy choice. This is a this is a Tex-Mex chicken protein bowl. So this meal here has. 430 calories and it's like 33 grams of protein 52 grams of carbs So pretty much what I really like to keep track of is my total calorie intake for the day and my protein I like to get at least uh, One gram of protein per each pound of my body weight And uh, I try to stay between 1,800 and 2,000 calories per day because I'm trying to do a little bit of a cut as well, which is going pretty good for me, by the way. And um, so this big meal, 33 grams of protein. I'm not going to add any extra chicken to that because that's got 33 grams of protein. But I also bought this meal right here, which is... Uh, Lean Cuisine Glazed Chicken. So it's got chicken, brown rice, green beans, cashews, and it's got some kind of sauce. So this meal has 290 calories, 39 grams of carbs, and 20 grams of protein. I like to consume between 30 to 40 grams of protein per meal. So I'm gonna be adding chicken to this one. That's what the scale is for. So I can weigh it out so I know exactly how many grams of protein I'm adding. What I'll do is, I've got these freezer bags from Walmart. I like to take all of my food out of the cardboard boxes and put them in these bags. And I just label the bags exactly what's in it, how many calories and how many grams of protein. This way in the bags, it takes up less room in the fridge that I've got here and I can put more in the fridge. So I got this bag of grilled chicken strips. And it's got 100 calories in a serving. And it's got 18 grams of protein in one serving. So I'll be dividing this between all of my five boxes of this particular meal that I've got. I'll be dividing all of this chicken between these boxes. So I've got my marker. I'm going to label this. Glazed chicken. So I'll place my bowl on the weigh scale. Turn it on. Zeroes out. I measure it in grams. Since there's six servings in a bag, and I'm only doing five meals. I'm actually gonna put a little more chicken. So I'm gonna do around 100 grams. I'm at 108, which is pretty close. And then I'm going to write my calories on the plastic bag. So this one has 290 calories. And then this bag has six servings. Each serving is 100 calories. So that's 600 calories in this whole bag. If we divide that by five meals, it'll be 120 calories. So I'll take my 290 calories in this meal and add the 120 calories of chicken, and we'll be at 410 calories. So I'll write down 410 calories, and then protein. It'll be about 40 grams of protein in each bag, combined. And I'll just take my bag, chicken that I've put in here, 
dump it in the bag. And I open up this meal. Comes in a container like this. And I'll just dump everything into the bag. Pretty much, it's like this. It's frozen, so it's solid. Try to break it up a little bit, so it comes soon. So it takes up less room. All right, and you've got one meal in the bag like this. And that's how I do my meal prep. So I'm gonna pack all the other ones i'll see you guys in a while all right guys off to the next food stop cali bombs they're known for their blooming onions all right guys just got my food check it out it looks absolutely delicious and this is what they're known for, the Bloomin' Onion. That's what's called the Cali Bomb. It looks delicious. Guys, it's like 107 degrees here in Vegas and I'm sitting outside eating this food. Pretty insane. But they only have outside seating. out this burger that looks very delicious let's give it a try all right that's pretty good You get two choices of dipping sauce with your Cali bomb. I got a nacho cheese and I got the Cali sauce. All right, guys, let's give it a try. I'm gonna try the Cali sauce first. That's pretty good. I'm not a fan of onions, but when it's made like this that's pretty good let's try nacho cheese not bad
guys thank you again for watching the video that was my 34 hour dot time reset i hope i was able to kind of give you an idea of what i do during these resets stay tuned for the next video